I want to share just a little bit about my life, how I became disabled. Before I became disabled, I was an athlete. Uh, I played football, basketball, track, did a lot of different activities. I swam, did gymnastics, and one day um, I had a problem in my home with my father. We got into a verbal altercation and I ended up getting shot in that situation. After I got shot, I went through a lot of changes trying to rebuild my life. It took me several years to come back to a place where I was able to go back to school, finish school, and move on into a career. Una demostración simple que son knife hands. Manos de nada, knife hands. Those that's called knife hands. Let's practice. Everybody go like that. Knife hands. Así. Put it on your chest. Es bloqueo y golpe a la vez. It's to block and to hit at the same time. Now, Podemos hacer este golpe. Ever since I was a little girl, I've had to use something to help me get around. So whether it's a wheelchair or crutches or a walker, I've always needed a little bit of help getting around. Do any of you know, show me your hands, somebody who's used a wheelchair before or crutches? Very good, very, very good. Um, well, I've always used my crutches and um, all the way through school and all the way till now. And you know, as a little girl going to school with a disability, when I was in middle school, um, I had people who, you know, um, who would pick on me because I was different. I got around differently than they did and they didn't understand it. So um, that made me start thinking about what I wanted to do in the future. And I decided that what I wanted to do was to help other people who have disabilities. No, no, no. All of these things that you, you decide to do, uh, all you gotta do is to stay focused. Stay focused. And no matter how many things try to stop you from doing these things, all you guys do is stay focused, all right? When I was your age, I could see. I went to regular school and I read books and wrote and played on the playground and rode my bike and all that. Played. I like to play kickball. Y'all play kickball? Yeah. Yes. I like to play kickball. And uh, so, but then when I grew up, I got where I couldn't see anymore. So I had to learn to read Braille as well as print. And there's a lot of things that help people with disabilities do what everybody else does and just be part of the group. One of the things I like to do, play games. And this is a game that people play a lot. What is that? Bingo. Yeah, it's Braille and print bingo. So see if I'm reading the bingo card, this is B6, B11, B7. Be four. And so what I say to you is, don't ever let anybody tell you what you can't do. You decide, I can do it. I can make the difference in my life. You are the ones that said, I am smart. Because let me tell you something else. Because you're missing certain things sometimes, people think you can't think. Graduated college on the road. Every time someone said, I can't, I said, I will. Every time someone said, you, you won't, I say, I will. Because I believe that I control my destiny because I believe I'm the best I can be. And I always work at being the best. What cerebral palsy is, is it means that the, your brain 
uh, doesn't send the signals to your muscles quite right. So when you tell yourself to run, I can't really run. My muscles just won't move that fast. I can walk fine. I can walk pretty much like you do. But my balance is not so good, so I fall down every now and then, but that's no big deal. Uh, but I, I can walk and stand and hold a job and, you know, drive a car and do all kinds of things. I like to travel. I like to read. I like to um, be with my friends and my family. I like to uh, go shopping. I like to go to the movies. Um, I like all kinds of fun things like that. Several reasons told me I several people told me I could not do do everything that I wanted to do. But I like them wrong. I, I was told I was handicapped. Who's heard the word handicapped before? All right. Who's heard the word word in a good sense? Who's heard the word in a bad sense? Who's heard it? All right. Akeem's heard it, right? Akeem? All right. Well, I prefer to say that because I heard it. I prefer to think as I'm not handicapped, I'm handicapable. And that means that I can do anything I want to do. Okay? I was born three months early, I weighed under three pounds. Wow. That, that's not allowed, right? Okay? I, 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 I think the most important thing for you, who likes to set goals? Who likes, who, who, who has goals? You, you have goals? Man, I love goals. I love to set them. I love to think of the upbeat of the positive. All right? I think goals are very important. And as you know, someone with a disability can do the same thing as everybody else. They just might need a little bit of help. And Marlon here helps me. He picks things up off the floor. Yep. He's a golden retriever. They showed him, they showed him last year on the library. Uh-huh. No, one of the things you don't want to do is you never want to distract a service dog because they're working. And there are all different types of service dogs. So Marlon picks things up off the floor for me. He opens and closes doors can turn light switches on and off. And then there are other service dogs. 